Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Nutribullet Blender Combo. It has a 1200 watt motor base, measures 17 inches tall and 7 inches deep. The pitcher is 10 and a half inches tall and 9 and a half inches across. The cord length is about 36 inches. Included is the base, base has suction feet, 64 ounce pitcher with integrated blade, lid with vented cap, 32 ounce cup, 24 ounce cup, blade that can be used with either cup, two to-go lids, and a tamper. The pitcher, cups, and lids are BPA free. There's an instruction manual and a recipe guide with the recipes for smoothies, smoothie bowls, soups, dips and sauces, cocktails, and odds and ends. You can make almond milk and almond butter with this blender. The guide also tells you how to build a smoothie, fruits, vegetables, and types of milk to use. Their markings and ounces, cups, and liters. The pitcher has two max lines. The lower line is for liquids and the higher line is for solids. Don't fill above that. The cups also have a max line. Here's the control panel, the power button that'll light up, extract button to blend fruits and vegetables and ice. The cycle will end automatically. Low, medium, and high speed buttons They'll automatically shut off after 60 seconds when using the cups. If you're using the pitcher, manually press stop. Low is for mixing thin batters and processing cooked foods. Medium is for grinding nuts, milkshakes, and mixing dips. High is for thick mixtures and blending frozen fruits and vegetables. Pulse is for chopping. Press and release the button to use. Don't use the pulse setting with hot ingredients. Put the pitcher on the base to the right and turn towards the middle to lock. You'll hear that click. To remove, turn the pitcher counterclockwise and lift off. This unit needs liquid to blend, so don't use it for crushing ice or anything without adding liquid. You can't grind coffee, grains, or anything dry. Also, don't put any hot ingredients in the Nutribullet cup. If you're blending something hot in the pitcher, start blending on the low setting and then increase speed. First, I'll make a vegetable smoothie. Greens and vegetables go on the bottom, then fruit, then nuts, liquid, boosts, then ice. If you're using ice, just make sure it's 25% of your total ingredients. I'm using kale leaves, carrots cut up, cucumber cut up, celery, and I'll squeeze in some fresh lemon juice. I'll add some water. About a cup and a half and a couple of ice cubes. Four cubes. I'll press the extract button and let it run automatically. When the cycle's over, it'll stop automatically. I'll press power and extract. During blending, if you have to add ingredients, switch to low, remove the lid cap, and add whatever ingredients you need to. It's got a lot of foam on top. There are no chunks in the blender. It looks smooth. Just gonna taste a little bit of it. I was expecting this to be really grainy, but it's surprisingly smooth. I did put in three very fibrous vegetables. 
the kale, celery, and carrots. This Nutribullet did a really good job on this green smoothie. If you want to get this Nutribullet, I've put a link in the description below. Now I'll use the small cup. I've got 10 ounces of a frozen berry blend. It does have really big whole strawberries, so we'll see how this blends. It's just to the max line, so you know this fits about 8 ounces of fruit. I'll add some milk. Screw on the blade. Make sure you screw it on really tight. Turn it upside down and put it on the base. You heard that click? First I'll use the low setting. And press power or the speed that's selected. That's about a minute. Just turn it. You can see this is almost like a dessert. It's very thick. Overfill that. Just taste this. It is creamy and smooth, but you'll bite into the seeds of the berries. It's not going to pulverize it completely. That is what you're going to get with most blenders at this price range. There are no chunks and everything's processed. Now I'll blend some grated coconut and green chilies to make coconut chutney. I'll add some water. This is a very small amount. You can see the cup is just about a third full. I'm going to pulse and then blend. Now I'll blend it on medium. I'll give it a taste. I forgot to put salt, it's really spicy. I usually blend coconut chutney in my Vitamix, but I really did want a smaller container because with a large jar you have to blend a lot of coconut. This Nutribullet does a decent job. It's not, of course, as good as the Vitamix. It's a little bit gritty, but it's not bad. The coconut was blended for about one minute. With this unit, it's recommended not to blend for more than a minute. So if you wanted to blend something a second time, First blend for a minute, take a break, and then blend for another minute. But just like with any blender, most things should be blended in one minute. Now I'll make a smoothie with some frozen mango, frozen pineapple, and milk. Got about a cup and a half of fruit. I'll throw in some banana as well. Half a banana and milk. It's a cup and a half. There's a little bit of space left for the max line. So in this 32 ounce cup, you can fit a little bit more than a cup and a half of fruit and a cup and a half of liquid. Screw on the blade. I'll press the extract button.
You get two servings out of this and it's very smooth and creamy. Screw on a lid if you're going to take it to go. Now I'll process some cooked apples. I've peeled, cut up and cooked a few apples. I cooked these apples earlier and they have cooled down. Make sure not to blend anything hot in the cups. I'll process them in this small cup. I used two large apples. Use low speed for cooked foods. The cycle did not end, but it looks like it's completely smooth. Doesn't need the full minute. It's very smooth. So simple things like cooked apples will take less than a minute. I added some of the cooking liquid from the apples. So that's why it's loose and runny like this. You can definitely get a thick apple puree, just use less liquid. If you're blending something very thick, pulse a few times and then use low speed. To clean, unplug the unit. The pitcher is dishwasher safe. Cups and to-go lids are top rack dishwasher safe. The extractor blade is hand wash only. The tamper is also to be hand washed. With any blender, I clean immediately after using so there's no buildup. Put a drop of dish soap and fill water to the max line. Blend for 20 seconds and then rinse out with water. It takes just one minute to clean if you do it immediately after making a smoothie. The base can be wiped down. So you saw how this Nutribullet works. It did great on the vegetable smoothie. It cut through all the fibrous carrots, celery, and kale. The coconut was acceptable. If I blend for another minute, it may be less gritty. My tropical smoothie was perfect and the cooked apples were pureed nicely. As for the noise level, it's extremely loud. Except for one or two blenders that I've reviewed, just about all of the other ones are loud. This Nutribullet is very loud. You're getting a large pitcher, small cup, large cup, and it's a powerful blender. It's not a bad deal for this price. If you want to get this Nutribullet, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.